Hi everyone, I just finished the third day of a sardine fast and I'm here to talk about that and my dopamine reset. I am Texas Donna and I am dealing with um, menopause, carb addiction, etc., etc., through a carnivore diet and ketosis attempted <laughs> at least. Uh, and I'm here to talk about that and share my experience in case it helps any of you. I am uh, having to hold my phone by hand, so I apologize if the camera is, seems a little bit shaky. Uh, we'll see. The reason I'm holding my camera by hand is that my um, my 20-year-old son came by the house the other day, and as a surprise, he hung a um, swing on my front porch, and it's lovely, and I'm sitting on this porch swing, and I'm drinking coffee out of my Grace Brothers Limited Are You Being Served coffee mug. Some of you remember that show? Oh, uh, always look at the wrong place, not in the camera lens. There we go. All right, so my last video, I talked a little bit about doing a dopamine reset based on one of Kelly Hogan's recent videos. Uh, that is going very well. So my strategy was every time I had a craving to uh, replace that craving with a positive action, such as just doing squats or saying a prayer or doing some push-ups against the wall. I cannot do real push-ups against the floor. <laughs> um, uh, maybe one day I will, but, uh, or, you know, just uh, taking, taking a walk down the hall of my, uh, job or something like that. There's dogs across the street that have an opinion about me being out here. So if you can hear them, enjoy, enjoy the sound of puppies. And of course, somebody just turned on their lawnmower. <laughs> That's how it goes. Anyway. So, uh, I, uh, think I've achieved some sort of dopamine reset because I have not really had any cravings except for those brought about by suggestion. Like if I'm at the grocery store and everybody's bringing out all their fall treats on display, I'll look and think, oh yeah, I like that. that. But <laughs> um, other than that, I'm not being hit unexpectedly with any cravings at all. Feeling really good, have not had, have not strayed one bit since I started this, uh, August 29th, I think, 28th, in any case. So um, that's going very well. Uh, but I thought, you know, I still, like I was still having a little too much dairy and I thought I need more guardrails. So Kelly Hogan's, another very recent video of her, she interviewed a woman that did like 98 days of a sardine fast and she was gonna go another couple weeks, I guess. Uh, and she talked about her experience with that and I thought, I've been avoiding the sardine fast because I've never had a sardine and they sound nasty to me. But you know what, all these other people can do it so I can do it too. Just like with Kelly Hogan, she doesn't ever cheat. And I thought, well, there's no reason I can't live that kind of life. So let's just do it. So this woman was talking about sardines and I thought, you know what, I really do need that deep therapeutic level of ketosis. I watched one of Dr. Um, Boz's recent videos, Dr. Annette Bosworth, if you're not familiar with her, and she talked about uh, ways that you can tell you're insulin resistant. And a few of those I had already known. I don't have every symptom, but I did have a couple of symptoms. And then she said to try the shin test, or I don't know what she calls it. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. You take your thumb and you press it on your shin hard for like 30 seconds. Uh, press it real hard. And then when you pull your thumb away, if the imprint of the thumb stays, then you have inflammation because you don't carry fat on your shin. You carry fat, you know, around the back on the calf, but not on the shin. And so I did that shin test, uh, I guess, I don't know, three weeks ago or something when I saw her video and there was a good bit of inflammation there in my system. And I thought, okay, I, I have not healed. And it is the the culprit for me. Well, I had, you know, over the months, some cheating with carbs, which I've talked about, but also definitely still too much dairy. I think I use dairy as a substitute for carbs and it's probably still a little bit better than sugar, but it still can, can trigger insulin response. And, and we all know that it can be inflammatory to many, many people, probably most people. Some people can tolerate dairy okay. In any case, so I was really substituting with too much dairy and also dairy's easier to grab. Like if I'm tired and I don't want to cook and there's a slice of cheese in there, I mean, you know, I can just grab that and, you know, 
that it is what it is. So I thought if I do this sardine fast, first of all, it's affordable. It's only a dollar a can. I mean, good grief, a dollar a can. And I would be eating about four cans a day or so. That's very affordable. And uh, that's a way to hopefully get into a deep level of ketosis. And uh, I want to shed this inflammation. And then, yes, to be honest, I need to lose about probably 20, 25 pounds, something like that to be at a healthy weight. I haven't weighed myself in a while. I'm probably gonna weigh myself at the end of September, or maybe either September 30th or October 1st. Maybe I'll wait till October 1st, because I just love October. And I think I'll be happy with what I see on the scale. So I will post a link to Kelly Hogan's interview with the woman who did the extended sardine fast. And also in my last video, I posted Kelly Hogan's video about dopamine. I'll repost it in the description of this if you wanna go take a look at that. So, uh, all right, I ordered uh, 40 cans of sardines from Amazon and they're packed in water. And I think their Beach Cliff is the brand. Uh, in any case, they sardines um, ha have low or no mercury because they're a small fish. So unlike tuna, you don't have to worry about mercury affecting you or anything like that. So um, I ordered them on Saturday and Sunday was a family meal. It was a carnivore meal, but a family meal at my house. Monday, I went out to eat with coworkers. I ate clean at the restaurant, but still I knew I couldn't do the sardine fast. So um, I started the sardine fast on Tuesday and I was kind of nervous. And I posted in Larry and Cassie's carnivore quest group on Facebook, you know, can I really just open this can and eat them? This woman did sardines packed in water and added butter for the fat because she didn't want the sketchy olive oil, you know, and so neither did I. I didn't want to deal with olive oil or wonder if it was olive oil or anything like that. So um, I did butter um, and everybody assured me, yes, because like I was afraid they were going to be too stinky and, you know, my coworker's going to hate me. I was just afraid. And so everybody assured me, yes, you can open the can and just eat them with a fork and um, go in the other room or go somewhere else if you're afraid of the stink. So I, I work at a church, so I went into one of the Sunday school rooms down the hall that it had a sink. And that's where I opened the can of sardines. And somebody suggested mashing them if you can't handle the look of a, of a whole sardine. So I did that. And, uh, and I just, I ate them right out of the can and then went back to my desk and ate the butter to go, you know, along so I'd have the fat with the meal. Um, and so that was fine. And then when I came home, I opened two cans of sardines, emptied them into a bowl, smashed them and smashed the butter in with them. So it was like mayo. And honestly, it was tasty. And honestly, they were no stinkier than a can of tuna and maybe less stinky than a can of tuna. So since then, I've just been eating the sardines at my desk and nobody has complained. I try to eat them when a lot of people have gone to lunch. Um, and yesterday, a coworker who loves sardines saw that I was doing the sardines. And so he ran to the grocery store, picked up a can of sardines and came back and ate sardines for lunch along with me. He was standing at the counter by my desk. So that was kind of fun. Um, so it's going really well. Um, I uh, could tell a shift in my metabolism. I, could, I lost a lot of inflammation in my abdominal area. I could tell that. I have much less of a thumb imprint when I do the inflammation test on my shin. I just tried that this morning. And then for the first time this morning, I checked my uh, blood glucose and ketones on the Keto Mojo meter, which I will also link in the description. And I got my lowest blood glucose level that I have ever measured. 56, 58 or 56? I think it's 56. In any case, um, I'll confirm that in the comments. Uh, and I'm in a deep therapeutic level of ketosis. So that makes me very happy. What I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do this fast every week until I, I feel like I've achieved some of this true reduction of systemic inflammation uh, and honestly hit a weight loss goal. So I feel like I can do that. Um, Sundays are family food days and we eat carnivore here at the house, but I wanna eat what my family's eating. So I won't do sardines on Sundays and Mondays often our staff will eat lunch together and I'm 
always able to choose a clean option at whatever restaurant we go to. So Sundays and Mondays, I'll take a break from the sardine fast, and then I'll fast at least Tuesday through Thursday, maybe Fridays and Saturdays uh, every week, probably through the fall. We'll see how this goes. Um, this will help with the dopamine reset program where I'm really trying to root those cravings out so that they, they don't take over my brain and also really to get rid of this inflammation. And to be honest, I, I can't afford to buy new fall clothes and I don't really fit into many of my fall clothes, the jeans and stuff like that. Well, I'm wearing jeans right now that I fit into, but a lot of my other jeans are still too tight. There's a pair of pants that I wore to my first day of work on March 18th, and those pants are too tight for me to wear right now. They've gotten looser over the course of the week, and my expectation is to be able to fit into those pants by sometime, comfortably, by sometime next week, because this is really happening pretty fast, the reduction in inflammation. So, I'm pretty happy about this, and I'm curious if any of you have done a sardine fast. If so, what do you think? Again, I'm having the sardines packed in water. I'll post a link to the ones that I bought on Amazon, um, and I'm having them with butter mashed up. Uh, somebody in the Carnivore Quest group suggested that I mix it up in advance. This feels so obvious. Why didn't I think about this? Uh, open the cans at home, put them in a to-go container, mash them up with the butter like a tuna salad kind of, and then just bring that to work like it is, and that's easier. So I think I'll start doing that. Uh, I am having um, LaCroix, and I am having um, Element, and I'm having flavored Element. It's not bothering me. It's a delight to my day. If I were on the next level of hardcore, I might do the unflavored element, but you know what? Th those kind of make me smile. I'll get one of the kind of lightly berry flavored elements. I'll take two cans of those over a huge cup of ice and, and have those with the element. If you want to try that and you've never done it before, pour slowly, do the ice, and go and put your straw in there and then put the element powder in there and then pour slowly because it fizzes up quite a bit. Um, you could also do those with just Topo Chico if you want. I've done that as well. So in case I'm doing that and I am still drinking coffee, again, I'm just not motivated to give up coffee right now. Uh -uh -uh. I switched back. I talked about this in the Carnivore Quest group um, due to, um, like a budget and all of that. Somebody is pulling into my driveway, but are they just doing it to turn around? Yes, I think so. So, um, we'll see what she's doing. Okay, that's a very nice car. It's a lovely white Mercedes SUV. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. All right, so um, I, due to budgetary constraints, we had to switch away from our neighborhood coffee shop coffee, and I started buying the Costco coffee, which is much less expensive. This was several weeks ago, and I didn't feel great upon the very first sip, but it tasted okay, and so I just kept drinking that, and I got more and more inflamed, more and more inflamed, and it got to the point where every time I raised that cup of coffee to my mouth. I didn't feel good. I would drink it. My mouth would itch a little bit. I didn't, I felt terrible. And I thought it's the coffee. It's the quality of the coffee. So I switched back to the neighborhood coffee shop coffee, which they, they, they know the farmers in South America where they buy their coffee from. They travel to those, uh, independent, coffee sources, those farmers, they meet them, they spend time with them, they source them independently. The coffee is very, very clean, ethically grown. And I, we decided, my husband and I, to cut back in other areas and switch back to the clean coffee. And I could tell by two days later, really by the next day, I felt a whole difference in my whole system. So I, I'm never drinking mass-produced coffee again, ever, ever, ever. Uh, if I can't get this clean coffee, I will do without. And I can't imagine if you're not sensitive to it, I can't imagine what's going on in your system 
that you're just not aware of if you're drinking mass-produced coffee. I'm not judging anybody. Do what you want. Do what you need to do. I'm just telling you my experience. But if you are feeling weird and you can't pinpoint why and you're eating clean, um, it might be the coffee. So check it out. Try it. Try a, a very clean, just buy one bag of really clean, independently roasted, freshly roasted coffee that's ethically sourced and see if you feel a difference. I sure did. So that's what's going on there. All right, so that is my update. Let me know in the comments if you have done a sardine fast, if you are considering a sardine fast, or if you maybe decided based on this video to try a sardine fast, check out Kelly Hogan's dopamine video. I found it so informative. And the, her interview with the woman that did the extended sardine fast was also very informative. She looked great. And I tell you what, I feel amazing. I feel actually amazing. I want to say that on days, on the second, first and second day, I did feel very tired in the afternoon. I think my body was working hard to maybe switch over into ketosis. Um, I felt very tired, a lot of brain fog. Um, but yesterday I felt great and clear headed all day. Today we're only at like 11 a.m. So <laughs> uh, I still have the rest of the day to go. We'll see, but I have a lot to do today. I have a very busy day ahead of myself. So uh, I, I hope this uh, keeps up my energy level. Oh, I remembered what it was. All right, anxiety. I definitely have reasons to feel anxiety. Uh, I have stuff that is stressing me out. Last week, it reached a fever pitch in my mind. I had such a panic attack last Thursday that I had to, I was at work and I had to force myself to keep functioning. I was freaking out in my head. Nothing has changed. <laughs> I, I still have reasons to worry and be concerned. Everybody's health is okay, it's, it's all right. It's normal stuff that a lot of people globally and in America are dealing with right now. So, um, but I found myself this week, especially yesterday, very aware of all of my reasons for concern, but still somehow okay. Still feeling calm in my mind. So there's, I, I do attribute this to the dopamine reset and also reaching this level of ketosis, which is lower inflammation system-wide and in the brain. Um, I couldn't even make myself be stressed or have a panic attack by thinking about all the reasons I have to be worried. I couldn't even force panic <laughs> or stress. So that was really amazing. We'll see if that keeps up. Could it be an ebb and flow of hormones? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm feeling good. I'm aware of issues that I need to deal with, but I'm not worried, stressed, panicked etc. Not feeling anxiety right now. All right, so if you're having anxiety attacks, panic attacks, maybe try it out. Try this out. Um, it's certainly healthier than a lot of other options that you could choose to deal with it. So in any case, I love you all and thanks for joining in and thanks for checking in on me and we'll keep in touch. I'll probably just do maybe one video a week. I'll probably check my ketones and glucose once or twice a week and I'm going to weigh myself. I think October 1st is when I'll weigh myself and I'll let y'all know. Okay, love you all. Bye.